Hey everyone, Name here again, back to do my weekly NFL predictions. This time doing the week five segment for the 2021 season. Just to recap, I went 12 and 4 last week. Some of the games I got wrong, Minnesota over Cleveland. If I had to do it over again, I would have taken Cleveland definitely. Uh, I got the Titans game wrong against the Jets. I got the 49ers game wrong against the Seahawks. And I got the Rams game wrong against the Cardinals. So, like I said, only probably one game I would have redone. But 12 and 4, I'll take it any week. And now on to week 5. LA Rams versus Seattle. You got to wonder how humbled. That's my cat right there, by the way. You got to wonder how humbled the Rams uh, were after the uh, Cardinals took care of business against them. Uh, Seattle now uh, took care of business uh, against the 49ers. I just wonder how both these teams, you know, it's like any Thursday uh, night game, uh, will respond to, you know, a short rest. Uh, and the reason why I just say that, like, like, unlike any other week, because I have Russell Wilson as my uh, uh, fantasy quarterback, but I'm kind of wondering, hesitant about him putting him as my starter this week. But nonetheless, get into the game. Uh, it's in Seattle. I like Seattle. Uh, take care. Uh, you know, it's going to be, I think, a, a lot of offense in this game. I'm going to go with Seattle. They'll come out with the win late in the game. Jets versus the Falcons. I'm going to say the Falcons steal this one. Uh, I don't know if you can use, even steal because... It's just Jets that stole from the Titans, and we'll get to them in a second. Uh, Falcons, how'd they do last week? Yeah, they lost against Washington. So Matt Ryan, uh, just it's just hard to conceive. And, you know, about, what was it, just three, four years ago, they were in the Super Bowl, uh, up 28-3, and ever since that, losing that, they've just gone downhill. Uh, but it, it's that just comes to my mind. But this shouldn't. Uh, Atlanta should take care of the Jets e easily, I think. But we're going with the Falcons there. New England versus Houston. Houston, I believe, got shut out by the Bills, 40 to nothing. New England, I think, should uh, be able to contend with Houston and uh, defeat them. But I wouldn't be surprised if Houston comes out on top. Miami versus Tampa Bay. I agree to give the uh, nod and the advantage to Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, and the bunch. Philadelphia versus Carolina. Uh, Philadelphia's defense hasn't been too stellar. I don't know what the situation or status of Christian McCaffrey is, but DJ Moore uh, lit it up on the scoreboard this past week, uh, become Sam Darnold's obvious number one target. I like Carolina in this matchup. Tennessee versus Jacksonville. <clears throat> I don't know if they have A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. That was definitely a difference maker in their game against the Jets. Uh, if they're, I'm going to go with the Titans. If they're, if they're going to be able to go, definitely improve their chances. Uh, but, you know. It's uh, hard to make out what Titans team shows up. I mean, they lose first week to the Cardinals, and then they win against the Seahawks, and then they win uh, against uh, the Colts, and then they lose against the Jets. So it's they are all over the place, to say the least. Uh, Detroit versus Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota even is even... Uh, what I want to say is Minnesota will even have enough luck against a bad a Detroit team that suffers bad luck. So we're going to go with Minnesota here. Green Bay versus Cincinnati. Uh, I wonder how Cincinnati's defense is going to uh, do against Green Bay. I'm trying to think if they're – I saw them ranked higher in position ranking in my fantasy football league, but obviously that doesn't mean anything uh, necessarily. Uh, I'll go with Green Bay in this one, but they are on the road, so uh, – I always like it when they're in Lambeau Field. New Orleans versus Washington. Washington's at home. Washington, Carolina, and uh, the, those two always stand out as the two toughest home teams, no matter what their records are. I'm going to take Washington in this one. And it usually never fails me. I'm usually more right about it than not, I think. Denver versus Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh with this one. I'm going to say Denver now has a two-game losing streak. Chicago versus the... The Raiders, uh, Jacobs was a good to go last night. I mean, he did all right. Uh, I think they're just slowly getting him back into things, though, as well. Uh, David Montgomery escaped serious injury, so that's a good thing for the Bears. Uh, I like the Raiders, though, in this one. Uh, I think they'll be looking to bounce back. Uh, a tough, tough game against divisional rival, the L.A. Chargers. Speaking of L.A. Chargers against Cleveland, I like them against Cleveland. Uh, I just think... I got Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, and Justin Herbert. 
uh, at the helm. I just think they just got a lot of offensive weapons. Cleveland can match up, but I just think the Chargers come out on top of this one. The New York Giants versus Dallas. Saquon Barkley had a breakout game, basically. Uh, 55-yard touchdown reception and then a game-winning touchdown run. Uh, that's a good uh, thing for the Giants, but I think Dallas is too much right now. Dak Prescott has three weapons in C.D. Lamb, Amari Cooper, and Mike Gallup. And I believe he also has, uh, I can't remember if it's Dalton Schultz or Dallas Goddard as his tight end, and that's another good weapon. Uh, both each of them are, I just can't remember which one is where. Uh, San Francisco versus Arizona. I'm going to take Arizona in this one. Uh, it's going to depend on the health. One, about Jimmy Garoppolo, but Trey Lance came in and did a good job. Debo Samuel really tore it up. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, which Fran which decision San Francisco decides to do. Uh, Buffalo versus Kansas City. Boy, I really want to take Buffalo here. Although, you still got Tariq Kill putting up numbers, and it's still Patrick Mahomes, but ultimately, I guess the defense is what wins. Uh, and it's just I just like Buffalo in this matchup, but I'll probably be wrong, I'm sure. Indianapolis versus Baltimore. Baltimore easily going to win this one. I got to give my hat, tip my hat to Lamar Jackson. Uh, I kind of been a critic of his, nothing be cut, and, and nothing personal. I just always worry about him because I just don't feel like he has the build to be a quarterback. But you know what? Ever since he's entered the league, he's been winning. He's been a winner. Uh, you know, uh, I believe what he had an MVP season just a few years ago. Uh, Ravens kind of faltered a little bit or didn't live up to the same expectations, I should say. Nonetheless, uh, ever, ever since uh, Tucker kicked that field goal, the 66-yard field goal, it just seems like there's just a new morale in the Baltimore Ravens uh, clubhouse. I, I like seeing Lamar Jackson succeed, proving me wrong that he can still be a leader. Maybe he doesn't get, get you know, all the, t the most touchdown passes. Maybe he doesn't have the flashiest wide receivers. Maybe he doesn't have the strongest throwing arm. But he's a leader, and I think he's a good option for the Ravens, and I hope the best for him on the here on out. So those are my picks for Week 5. Feel free to let me know where you agree or disagree. And with that said, as always, I'm Nam, and always use your noodle.